What's going on guys? So today I want to talk to you guys about texting, right? We've all been there where we've had difficult times texting or we've all been there where we've had an interaction, we got the girl's number and then we text and we get nothing back. We've all been through the frustration of trying to overthink our texts, make sure we say the right things to get a response and sometimes they fall flat. Now, I spent a whole lot of time going through this. It was a phase in my approaching where this was happening a lot. But I remember there was a time where I wasn't getting any numbers at all. Girls were just kind of like, nah, I don't want to give you my number. I don't feel comfortable giving you my number. I'll give you my Instagram instead. You know, they'd give me a number or, and it just wouldn't reply or it didn't feel cohesive when they gave me the number. It didn't feel like they really wanted to give me the number, but more so they were doing it because they were being nice girls. So let's go ahead and talk about the secret to making girls actually want to text you back or to actually want to hear from you and respond to your text. Now, I remember when this all shifted for me, it was huge and I never forgot it. And that's the reason to this day, when I exchange numbers with a girl, and I always take their number, I would say 90% of the time, respond and give a lot more than just one word answers. I don't get that anymore. What's the secret? Well, the secret is the initial interaction. A lot of guys are trying to salvage terrible, bad, non-connected interactions up front through texting. And that's not how it works. How it works is if you have a powerful, connected, lasting initial interaction, she's going to be waiting for your text. When your texts come through, she's going to respond to them. She's going to be smitten. She's going to be excited to hear from you. The reason that works is because you leave a lasting impression on her through your initial interactions. There's no reason you should be sitting there overthinking your texts. She should have a good idea of who you are and how you feel, and it should feel really good to her and her body when she thinks about you. The way you do that is through your initial interaction. Now, I remember when this all clicked for me and what made it work. I was out approaching for like a whole day or something like that and i went to the, my uh, car to go get a sandwich i had in there i was broke i didn't have any money i remember that i quit my job had a sandwich in the car went through the rabbit was leaving my car to go back out and do some more approaching <laughs> it was a break from work and as i'm going down the stairs i see a lady coming up the stairs and this lady is is very 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 beautiful curly hair nice body everything that i liked in women she gave me a smile and then she passed and i remember thinking to myself go talk to her and so i was hesitant a little bit i was like ah. and then i turned around and i went over and talked to her and I remember thinking, I said, uh, I say, excuse me, you are beautiful. I just want to say hi. And so she started smiling and I was like, okay. In that split second, I remember it. We locked in, she was very connected. I was very connected. And for like a good 15 minutes, that interaction lasted. She did not waver from the eye contact at all. I didn't waver from the eye contact at all. I remember feeling nervous, but I also remember feeling grounded and letting all the nervous energy run through my body. And I remember it, it was like night and day from any other interaction I had had that day or even previously before that. We were joking. She was laughing, she was smiling with her eyes a lot, and I could tell she was really into me. And I remember leaving that interaction for the first time, I said, this girl's definitely gonna text back. Like, it was like solid, no doubt whatsoever. And that interaction really set the path for all my interactions following that. I remember that, because that was a really great reference experience of how it's supposed to work and how it's supposed to look. And because I always hear Brian talk about it, grounding, opening your heart, opening your stomach, feeling your turn on, right? Feeling your cock, feeling your dick. In that moment, I felt all of it and I was open. And when I left, I was just like, yes, that went well. And I was so excited because I really thought this girl was beautiful. This is probably the most beautiful girl I had ever approached up until this point, let alone get a number. And so I was very excited and I got her number and I texted her and she, sure enough, she texted back. She was so totally into it. We met up two days later, we went to her house and we had a great time. So what was going on in that interaction that made it work? Well, it was the eye contact, but more so it was the subtle communication that was going on beneath the eye contact. What would make a girl want to lock in with you for 15 minutes straight like that. Something about your energy, something about my energy was relaxing her, something about my eye contact was relaxing her, something about who I was being in that moment made her feel safe or made her curious enough to lock in with me and have that moment in a parking garage where cars are passing. And so when I think about texting and how guys struggle with texting, especially in the workshops when they come in, they say, hey, I got this girl's number, but she's not replying to me. I always take them back to the initial interaction. Give me a play by play. What was it, what happened in your initial interaction? What did you say? What did she say? Were you guys connected? Were you feeling your body? Were you pulled away? Were you enjoying your turn on? Were you touching? Were, what was going on? And like 90% of the time when girls are not texting back, they weren't doing these things that matter most when it comes to connecting. So when you go and text a girl, she's not gonna be all that excited to respond to you. And she's probably gonna be very hesitant. And if she does respond, it's gonna be a half-assed response to you, or it's gonna be a very nice girl response where she's like, I'm just responding because I don't wanna be rude. You don't want that. You want a girl to be all in on you. And that's what this girl was all in. Ever since that interaction, all 
my texting responses come back pretty thick and pretty engaging from the women. Like the, the women are way more engaged than they used to be. So how do you get yourself to relax into your body enough to hold eye contact and ground yourself and open up and feel your turn on? Well, you gotta put yourself through a lot of tension. Maybe not a lot of tension, but enough tension that allow you to surrender. That day I went out, I was out for probably a couple of hours before I ran into her and I had done a couple of approaches. I had done some highs. I had done some indirects. I had been stopping people. And it got me to the point where I was surrendered. I had been rejected. I had been rejected a lot. And I just surrendered at some point and just relaxed and accepted everything that was. So when I was talking to her, I was already very surrendered in my body. Actually, when I went back to talk to her, I probably wouldn't have done that earlier in the day because I would have probably had my stories come up around that, but I was feeling so good that I was like, I'm going back and doing it anyway. So go out, do the highs. We talk about the highs a lot, but highs, the reason that we use the highs so much is that they're so versatile. Highs will bring you through your stories. They will open you up if you allow them to. If you allow yourself to surrender to what it's given you, you open up a lot faster. A lot of what we're doing in the highs and the indirects is that we're tensing up, we're tightening up, and we're not really allowing ourselves to surrender and be in the moment. And that's what's really killing us because the quicker that you can surrender to the rejection, to the responses that you're getting, to the feedback, to the validation people are giving you, right? The more relaxed you'll be in your body. So when you actually do go and talk to the girl you want to talk to, you would have already kind of gone through those emotions and you'd be at a way more calm center place. So I hope this video helps you guys out so that you get out of your head when texting and you stop thinking about your texting do all the work on the front end, do all the work in the initial interaction, and the texting will take care of itself, I guarantee you. Guys, put in the comments if this is helping you. Let us know if you've had experiences like this where you've had really great interactions like this and women respond to you like that. Let me know what you're struggling with so I can make more videos about what you're struggling with so we can get you guys to a place where you're not in a struggle and that you're actually enjoying your interactions. Um, also, don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you can constantly get the video notifications when they come. And also remember, only the confident really love. Well.